The revived Aiba Boxing World Cup is tentatively set to play out in the Russian capital Moscow in October. Uganda Boxing Federation plans to field a 20-strong team in both the men and women categories in the global event. Federation President Moses Mohanji believes participating in the Boxing World Cup will have rich benefits for the country. At least now the winners will be picking some good sums of money which they can come back with the country on top of the medals and beyond that also exposing the athletes to the world market because we don't only go to these tournaments just to compete for medals and cash. We're also trying to expose our athletes so they can be identified by international promoters, so they can be able to further their careers into something else. Mohanji has, however, expressed concern over the lack of training facilities and resources for his team. How do you train a boxer to go and compete at the international stage when you have not given him a gym, when, he doesn't, when you have not given him resources, no equipment, no nothing. Because all this time we've been training on our own. People just try and survive on their own as individuals. Yet uh, the country should be able to provide some of these facilities. These are national products. Mohanj says efforts to convince authorities to allow the team access the national training gym at Lugogo have hit a dead end. If you go to Lugogo right now, uh, the gym is locked up. There's no activity going on. Uh, and uh, we can't access it because the, someone else hired it out. So these are some of the things that make us uh, wonder whether uh, the, the other leaders in sports are interested in the, in the well-being of the sport. He also says government should not use the excuse of the lockdown on sports activities to withhold funds for the sports sector. The excuse has been that there's COVID so we can't provide money because you won't use it since you don't have active games. But surprisingly, you saw how Cheputegei went to the World Games and won a record. So either way, there will be games scheduled at an, at an international level, at the continental level, that will require us to prepare better, uh, and that means we need to have resources. So the excuse for the government doesn't make so much sense, because even when there is no active sports in the country, but then there is active sports elsewhere in the world. Boxers have been advised to continue individual training sessions, pending the official summoning of the national team. Some NTV Sport.